The single greatest lead turkey hunting load on the market may very well be the Winchester Longbeard XR, but how far can you hunt with it? Today we're going to do a max range test. George back at you with the New Hunters Guy, the YouTube channel, and a great podcast, helping new hunters get started and bringing new insights to all hunters. Today, I have a very hotly viewer requested video. A lot of you guys have asked for this. And as always, if you have a request or an idea or some thoughts, let me know down below in the comments. I always have a running list of upcoming test videos. And we're gonna see how far can you hunt with the Winchester Longbeard XR lead ammo specifically this box right here these are the three inch shells number six shot they're magnums one and seven eighth ounces of shot going at 1050 feet per second this is the most pellets that you can cram into a three inch shell period and my goal here is i want to see how far can these things hold a pattern now i bought these with my own money no Nobody sent me this ammo, though I do greatly appreciate everyone who supports the channel on Patreon. You guys make it possible to buy ammo for testing, targets, paper, all the other expenses that go into this. Thank you guys so much. But I want to see at what range will these shells still hold a pattern. So we're going to use my Mossberg 940 Pro Turkey topped with a Hollow Sun 507K Red Dot using a Carlson's Longbeard XR Choke Tube at 40 yards. Yards. We're going to shoot him again at 50 yards. We're going to shoot it again at 60 yards. And we're even going to shoot him at 70 yards. All right. Now, I am not advocating that you hunt at these kind of ranges. But I've been hearing people throw ridiculous numbers around on the internet of how far they're shooting turkeys with this ammo. So I want to see at what range will they still hold a viable pattern. And then at that range, whatever it is, if it's 50 yards, if it's 60 yards, if it's 70 yards, we will ballistics gel test them at maximum range in order to find out if they still have the energy needed to successfully and efficiently bring down a gobbler. All right, guys, let's head down to the range and see what we can see. And I have made it down to the range here. I've got my new eye protection. I've got my Tetra Custom Shields in for ear protection. Set the turkey mode, of course. I've got the Carlson's Longbeard Choke Tube on top of the Mossberg 940 Pro with the Hollow Sun 507K Red Dot. And we've got the Longbeard number six, three inch Magnums. And guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and load up three rounds. And we're gonna shoot them at 40 yards, 50 yards, 60 yards. I'll load one more, we'll go to 70 yards. Only reason I'll stop is if I feel like something's amiss or my point of aim is off. All right, let's go ahead and take our first shot. First pattern looks fine, had some tripod issues. We'll load up one more here and we'll shoot all three of the next ones. It's like we had a failure to eject Oh, now failure to load. All right, well, I've been troubleshooting that for about five minutes, and something about that particular shell does not want to cycle no matter what I do to it. Other shells work just fine. We'll go ahead and throw it in the chamber and shoot our shot at 70. All right, guys, now what I'm going to do next, I'm going to go and eyeball these targets and try to figure out, okay, at what range do we still have the capability to take a turkey with a reasonable pattern and then I will come back and set up the ballistics gel at that range and then let you guys know where we're at and we'll take that next shot. All right, long story short, we are high and right on all of these targets, but we still have the pattern on the paper. 
And so I think guys, we even have a shot here at taking a bird all the way out to 70 yards with this particular load. So I've gone ahead and put the ballistics gel out at 70 yards and we're gonna take a shot there and see what kind of penetration we get. Of course, I will count all the pellets, get you guys the data for the paper and the gel afterwards. But let's go ahead and take this last shot here at 70 into the gel. All right, guys, I need to let you know nobody is sponsoring this video, not Winchester, not Mossberg, not anybody. I ask you to please go ahead and consider supporting the channel on Patreon. And if you like videos like this, field test, kicking the tires on assumptions and reviews, why don't you go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. All right, let's go see how we did. I have these long beard targets laid out, and guys, I can say beyond any doubt, this long beard ammo is devastating. The patterns on this, super impressive. Now keep in mind, my point of aim, point of impact with the red dot, and where they are is a little bit off. If I'm gonna hunt with this ammo, then I would sight in the red dot, but we got the pattern on the paper, that's what counts. Let's take a look first at 40 yards. All right. So we can see here, really nice pattern. I was high, pretty centered, really tight, 50 yards. A little looser, again, high and right. And then 60 yards, also high and to the right, but not bad at 60 yards. And then 70 yards, again, I was high there. Now guys, no doubt on these that if you were shooting a turkey at 70 yards, you are gonna end up with pellets in the breast meat. That's just sort of the way this thing is gonna work. But you are still probably gonna be able to hit them. When I look at the ballistics gel, we'll see for sure how many pellets that we get in that tighter turkey head space. I've got this block of gel pulled down, but first I need to level with you guys. When I looked at the penetration at maximum range here, I thought, ooh, that is not very far. Let's see what this will do at 40 yards. So I shot another shell into the ballistics gel, same ammo, at 40 yards immediately after. Off camera, I'd already had things moved and taken down for the setup, but let's go ahead and see what the 40 yard penetration looks like versus the 70 yard penetration. Check this out. From right to left, we are right around one, one and a half inches of penetration at 70 yards. From left to right, we are closer to three inches of penetration at 70 yards. So we're looking at something like an inch and a half versus three inches, and that's the difference that 40 versus 70 yards makes. But eyeballing, it's not good enough for me. It should not be good enough for you either. So I'm gonna count the pellets. I'm gonna average the numbers. I'm gonna get you guys the real data on penetration for both sides, as well as the real data for the patterns at all these ranges. Chart them out and be back with you momentarily. Okay, I have tediously counted more pellets than I ever wanna count again, but I have got the data for you. First, we're gonna look at the pattern data, and then we're gonna look at the ballistics gel data. But first, guys, disclaimer. Okay, the majority of turkeys are shot within 40 yards. In fact, I think the last time I heard some actual data on the subject, the average turkey was killed at right around 30 yards. So while the internet and you guys are utterly obsessed with long-range turkey sniping, it really is not that common of a thing. Most people, People are not shooting turkeys at these ranges. All right, so this data is interesting. This test is interesting. I thought it was a lot of fun. I hope you're enjoying it. But to just to be realistic here, guys, you probably shouldn't be shooting turkeys at that far. Looking at these targets at 70 yards, I could barely even see the life-size turkey silhouette or imprint on that reactive target at 70 yards. Without a scope, it'd be hard to even know it's a turkey 
let alone know if it has a beard. But that aside, let's go ahead and take a look at this data right now. At 40 yards, you can see 183 pellets in the 10 inch circle, the densest part of the pattern. That is outstanding. That's ridiculous. That'll drop any turkey on planet Earth. 50 yards, 131 pellets. 60 yards, 94 pellets. 70 yards, 57 pellets. And next to that is the percentage of the 422 pellets in each shell that made it into that 10 inch circle. Now the percentage though is not very meaningful. The only number that really matters is the sheer number of pellets in the circle that are hitting the turkey. All right, let's take a look here at the ballistics gel data. You can see that at 40 yards, we had 2.83 inches of penetration. And then at 70 yards, we had 1.39 inches of penetration. Now the big question here is how much penetration do you need? Well, the average that I've found consensus around is somewhere between one and a quarter inch and one and a half inch. So at 70 yards, we are just right in between what people are considering the minimum needed penetration. But at 40 yards, we have 204% more penetration than we do at 70 yards. That is a lot more power. You lose a lot over those next 30 yards. Now, I did not expect that. I didn't think you would lose that much penetration by just going another 30 yards but you really do. Now the question guys, how far is too far? Well, at 40 and 50 yards, your pellet count is really good, your penetration's good, 60 yards is iffy. I don't think you should be shooting this ammo at 60 yards. You have almost 100 pellets in that 10 inch circle and 100 is my benchmark. No matter what I'm shooting, no matter where it is, I wanna make sure that whatever range I'm hunting, I'm getting at least 100 pellets in the 10 inch circle at that range. So for this, you're probably right around 57 yards to hit that 100 pellets. Now. No one's out there counting, right? The 60 yard numbers are still probably gonna work, but any further than 60 yards, you have a lot of pellet drop off, but the power is just not there. When I hear people say things like, oh yeah, I shot a turkey with Winchester Longbeard at 80 yards, 90 yards, yeah, right. Yeah, right, no you didn't, you just didn't do it. The pellets don't have enough power at 90 yards to kill a turkey. At 70 yards, it is really iffy. I would not be shooting 70 yards with this ammo. It is hard enough to even see the turkey at 70 yards, let alone to hit them with this. Now, some people would say, yeah, George, but they make three and a half inch shells, so you can shoot even further. Well, I don't care if they were 10 inch shells. You still would not have more power at range. These do not have the power to punch out further than that. Now, maybe number five or number four shot, you would have have more power at range, but I don't think you would have enough pattern to shake a stick at. These were number sixes, the most sixes you could fit into a shell. So if you were using fives or fours, yeah, you might have a more power out there, but your pattern is not gonna be there. You're not gonna be able to hit a turkey. So you should check out this video right here where I tested the Winchester Longbeards against some Boss Tom TSS. And if you wanna see how far TSS can punch out, check out this long range test video I did right here shooting TSS number nine all the way out to 90 yards. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Till next time, God bless you and go get them in the woods.